How long do chickens live? Well, the answer to that question, as it is to so many questions about chickens, is it depends. In 2013, a black rock chicken named Victoria, who lived in Worcestershire in England, made the news by laying a couple of eggs, even though she was said to be 17 years old and hadn't laid any eggs for years. Perhaps even more amazing, and definitely substantiated as true, is the life story of Matilda, a tiny bantam chicken from Alabama. She was owned by Keith and Donna Barton, who were magic show performers. They got Matilda in 1990, and she went on show with them, appearing, quite literally, in their magic show. Keith's stage name was Mort the Mystifying, and Matilda's stage name was Matilda. She was a born showgirl, and it was her habit of stepping from side to side as though she was waltzing that earned her her name, Matilda, after the Australian folk song, Waltzing Matilda. Matilda's signature act was to materialise as if from an egg that Mort had cracked into a frying pan. Matilda never laid an egg, and she lived all her life indoors, with her only companions being Keith and Donna, and Lucky, her rabbit co-star, and of course all of her adoring fans. She lived to be 16 years old, and became famous for not only doing magic, but also received the title from the Guinness Book of Records for the world's oldest living chicken. But these are exceptionally long-lived chickens. At the other end of the scale are the poor male chicks that are hatched along with their sisters, the brown commercial hybrids, who will go on to lay almost all of the eggs that you buy in the supermarket. The commercial chicken breeders are no better than we are at predicting or controlling the sex of the chicks who hatch, so there are as many male chicks hatched as there are females. And since males have no commercial value, they are killed within hours of being hatched. The male chicks of breeds raised for meat don't fare much better. They are fattened up as fast as possible and are usually only about eight weeks old when they are made into the kind of chicken you expect to see at your dinner table. The female commercial hybrids who lay all those supermarket eggs fare better. They're around 20 weeks old when they start laying eggs, and they will lay eggs in their factory setting for about a year after that. After about 18 months old, their egg production falls off, and they're no longer commercially profitable, so they're disposed of. But people who ask how long do chickens live are usually thinking about the chickens that they might keep in their own backyard. Of course, chickens are susceptible to being killed by predators, from wild animals to neighborhood pets, even your own dog, and they can meet with many diseases and accidents. But assuming they live their natural lifespan, how long is that likely to be? If those same commercial chickens are raised and cared for as livestock or pets, rather than a disposable factory component, they can live for much longer, as much as four or five years. That's more than twice their factory counterparts. But even so, it's not a long life for a chicken. It's probably something to do with their genetic makeup and also the number of eggs that they lay in their very short lifespan. The heritage breeds are the ones that live the longest. There's some debate about the differences between the various heritage breeds, but on average, you can expect a heritage breed chicken who's protected from predators and lives a life free of disease to live about seven or eight years. My longest lived chicken so far has been Gonzo. You've probably seen Gonzo in my videos, 
In fact, she has a whole video all to herself about her passion for raising chicks. Gonzo hatched in 2009. One of six chicks who hatched, only two of whom were girls, from some eggs that I got from an Aracana breeder a couple of hours away. Gonzo was always a bit of a character. She seemed a bit vague and in a world of her own, but she was always fun to have around. She looked rather odd with that funny little top knot, and she had to have an unusual name to go with it. She started laying at seven months old, and she was never a great layer, mostly because she often went broody. And boy was she a passionate broody, and a fantastic mother to chicks. But this last season, she didn't seem to want to be bothered by that anymore. She didn't show any signs of broody, and she laid no eggs at all. A few days ago, she was looking very unkempt and uninterested in life. Although that night she hopped up on the perch with the others as usual. But the next night she hopped up into the nest box instead and put her head under her wing and died peacefully with her flock mates around her. So all of you people with chickens, how old is your oldest chicken? And all of you thinking about getting chickens, remember you'll have them for many years to come. So look after them. Hey.